next to Uganda, where China is playing an integral part in the implementation of major infrastructural projects in the country where development is being affected due to the coronavirus global pandemic. With most of the materials coming from outside the country, contractors are considering a delay in completion of projects as the government is focused in the fight against COVID-19. Here's more details of that. Uganda is upgrading its road infrastructure, and China is playing a key role in the development. But the COVID-19 pandemic is slowing down the process. Key supplies needed to run the projects are not coming in as required. Oil is coming from Kenya. If, Ken if Kenya has uh, slowed down, so that means now the fuel is not coming on time. Also, uh, is a second challenge. The third challenge is like Hema Cement, one of my major partner in cement sector, eh? because for them, uh, president uh, president directive that uh, all the uh, co uh, company, if you want to continue work, you have to come in the worker. So that's why also uh, the production has been slowed down. Road contractors are also concerned about the weakening local currency. We lost some, some money during uh, this COVID-19. Uh, the first loss comes from the exchange rate, because now the exchange rate has depreciated during this lockdown. Machinery from China is often exported to African countries. But the recent port and border closures stemming from the coronavirus measures are limiting access. This two-kilometer road was due to be completed within three years. But because of the COVID-19 pandemic, contractors are planning to postpone the completion of the project. Like other countries, Uganda is concentrating its resources towards efforts to combat COVID-19. This means several infrastructure projects are running low on money. The other challenge they're facing is the issue of, of uh, financing. Of course, they have to, most of them have the Chinese banks to be the one to give them the financing. So they can't do the back and forth to go and do their documentation. So that has also slowed them down. However, the Uganda government is hopeful that the infrastructure development projects will soon pick up pace as major economies, including China, begin to ease their lockdowns.